feet of leaves were descending, and naught but the thronging birds sat on the trees. Twelve thousand fair freedom and rights were defending, but in all their arms found it dismal to me. For Sandy, my love, was escaped in the action. Without them, I bow you this world, not in fraction. Put your powder in the frizzing pan. And then close that up, and when you fire it, the spark hits the frizzing and ignites the powder here. It goes through a hole and it hits the powder charge here, and you've got fire. If that hole gets clogged up any, you don't get the, the you get the spark here, and you get a flash in the frizzing pan, but it won't go through the touch hole, and you get a misfire. That's where the, the phrase "a flash in a pan" comes from. So you have to fall back and, and empty your, your powder out of your weapon and make it safe again before you can and clean, hopefully clean up your touch hole and get your, your weapon back up and firing again. Forward, march! Oh, I should have jogged it up Mike, ready! Take aim! Fire! The command structure is very important. You have to be able to hear the commands. And in most uh, companies, you will have the sergeant giving the command corporal stationed on the other end of the line echoing the command so that everybody hears the orders. Make ready! Take aim! Fire! Right and leg! To the front! March! Take care! Halt! Make ready! Present! Fire! Shoulder up, Bylock. Halt! Climb and load! Militia doesn't really march all that well, but they're good fighters because they have to be living on the frontier. Take aim! You guys didn't learn this overnight, did you? No, 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 no. Have you been doing this as kids? When did you first start to get involved in this? I started reenacting at the fort in 1984. What a perfect place to reenact. Absolutely. My children grew up in the fort, in period clothing, running around like little sparrows on the, around the fort. By the left wheel, march! 